Hello. It's sort of a sad day. I'm going on day five of being bedridden. There was an accident in London about five days ago. Well, here I am at the Prince Edward Theatre in the West End of London, and we're shooting the rehearsal of Mary Poppins, one of my favorite musicals, as you know. They're not doing the Bird Lady song, unfortunately. It was kind of a wet afternoon in London when I slept. It was right after lunch. We just had dim sum and time cut and we had just finished. And um, so it was kind of a fun afternoon and we were walking to check our emails. So we were off and I walked into this little mall area where the Starbucks was and right as I was entering I walked up a marble slope and within a second I was on the ground and my ankle had twisted around and all of the bones were removed from um, the point which connects my ankle to my leg and uh, I could see this jagged point sticking up um, from from where my ankle used to be and and a strange woman came out of nowhere and sat by my side the entire time before the ambulance got there which took like 20 minutes 20 minutes for the ambulance to get there and I was laying there in the rain and I was screaming and I was crying he gave me laughing gas, and within 20 seconds, I went from being this bawling baby to laughing hysterically. And, and uh, it doesn't actually make the pain entirely go away. It just makes you sort of not care about the pain. And by the time I got to the hospital, I was so high that I asked them to go around the block again. I'm now loaded up with painkillers. I have a big zit on my nose. I've been plucking my hair. I have compulsive hair pulling disorder. I've plucked a good part of my eyebrow half of this cheek, some of this cheek, I pluck my chest hairs, I pluck my arm hairs, I pluck other places. And, um, oh, 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 and, um, I broke my ankle in three places, and now I have screws and a plate holding the bones together. That's real pleasant. Want to see? There. Look at this. Uh, this is my cast. I have to wear this one for two weeks. It's a soft cast and I have to be extra careful because if I fall, I'll ruin what they've done. Probably rip out the stitches and the screws and it's really, it's really unfortunate. London hospitals, relatively nice. They even have tea service in the afternoon. And um, the unfortunate part about it was is that the only bed available for me was in the oncology ward. So I was in a room with three other people that all were dying of brain tumor. And as such, I was, I was completely afraid of the whole experience. And being in the oncology ward where everyone was dying made it even worse. I mean, sure, I felt, I felt bad for them all and... and um, they were obviously much worse off than I was. I mean, I could have gotten hit by a car, had my right leg ripped off, I could have had a brain tumor. But all I had was a broken foot, and I felt a little guilty in there, whining to the nurses about my situation. Um, because I obviously wasn't dying, and, and they were. One of the people I was with was a man who was in his 80s or, or 90s, I'm guessing maybe his early 90s who 
had advanced stages of brain cancer and he literally could not do anything and he was like one of those those pull toys that you pull the string and they say like one of six different things and and uh and he would say like he would just repeat it over and over again like back ache back ache back ache or he'd say something like um nurse 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 or or, or poop 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 and he, he would cra he literally would crap himself and they'd have to come and change him or, and then they'd feed him and he'd cough it up it was it was so so sad because i obviously wasn't dying and, and they were one of the most terrifying things of being in the hospital was was being put under i had never been in surgery before and um i was i was terrified of going down there and, and being put under and and what if i died where would i would have ended up um it was it was sad and i i, I kept thinking of of, of what, what would have happened if i died in the operating table is there heaven would i have ended up somewhere peaceful or is this it is this all we have are we just these chemical reactions that that, that cease to exist after after our hearts stop beating. Hmm. 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 Um, it was, um, it was, uh, it was, uh, altered by painkillers. Uh, obviously, I can't even make a complete sentence now. And what really sucks is that we had this wonderful flat on the top floor of this building. And now, since I fell, they moved us to the ground floor, and we're in this little studio, crappy, dumpy place. And the, most of you won't watch this anyway. My sister gets most of the hits, because she has tits. Tits for hits. If I had tits, I'd get hits too. And that's all I have to say for today. Hmm. And by the time this is finished, I'm sure I, uh, I'm going to have plucked myself bald. And I don't care. Why are you still there? Go away.